Alléluia. Listen. I believe with all my heart that God is confronting limitations. Many of you don't know what limitations are. You, poverty is a limitation. Are you getting my point? Spiritual bankruptcy is a limitation. A prayerless life is a capital limitation. A wordless life is a limitation. When you are supposed to get married and you've not gotten married, it's a limitation. Academic backwardness. See, there are very few people who are here for, for sicknesses and all. It's, it's limitation. That's the name of what you are going through. Hallelujah. Before I prophesy, we'll soon have the last session and then we're, we're done. We're still going to pray. Don't be tired. I beg you, just follow through with me. If you believe that I hear God and if you believe we are walking by the Spirit, I'd like you to pray. Hallelujah. Limitation. I know a brother, listen, listen. I know a brother that for many years, this gentleman was so gifted, but I'm telling you, nothing was working in his life. Please hear me. This is a true story. Very gifted, but things were tied down. Hallelujah. He did everything, did everything, that, that he knew to do but when God made him know that these things are limitations he took a quality time of his life challenging it and brothers and sisters when he prevailed doors were open it was as if the blessings have left heaven but to now come to this realm and Daniel remained in prayer please hear me anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough it's not the issue of i'm called into the ministry of prayer or not forget that nonsense that the devil brings men ought always luke 18 1 he spake this parable if you are alive you don't pray because of fear you pray because it's a spiritual transaction it makes things possible in this realm hallelujah we are going to pray one more time and you're going to say lord one more time visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family hallelujah listen listen mention the aspects where you are facing limitation don't feel embarrassed mention them and say lord let your fire come upon it lift your voice and pray Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata. Teka. Repoto pakata. Sente teke petekete. Suporiata daraba. We lift up an incense of prayer. We lift up an incense of prayer. We lift up an incense of prayer. We lift up an incense of prayer change lives break limits financial limits suppose sata intellectual limits marital limits job limits we break it sopotopata we break limitations Business limitation, ministry limitation, limitations of potentials. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Every time limits are broken, the Lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life are you hearing what i'm saying bishop oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days may this night be the certain day listen your next level is in the hands 
of a certain man the bible says they wanted to kill joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him if not because of that certain man they would have killed him are you following me now the bible talks about a man who was crippled he could not carry himself certain men no names they lifted him and opened the sink oh god whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny i come i compel them to come lift your voice and pray lift your voice destiny help us financial help us spiritual help us men of influence men of access Sopotoposh, Rokotoposh, Reketetete, men that will connect us to our next level, men that will connect us to our next dimension. Please pray, 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 pray. Lord, we call them forth. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, hear me the prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption but he was hanging on that cross there was no place to bury him and a certain man came called joseph of arimathea an influential man if he was poor and broke the king would not hear him the bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised you are going to pray concerning your finances does it make sense to you to pray we are going to pray and say, Lord, whoever must appear to change my financial destiny, I receive their ministry. Come on now, pray. Come on now, pray. Time and chance happens to them all. Time and chance. Be it a Cyrus or a son of the kingdom. We embrace their ministry. We embrace their ministry. So put up photos. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence. Kings. Destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us, men of influence, men who can talk to kings, pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison although anointed there are many people here your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it announce it and let the world celebrate it John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry are you hearing what I'm saying there are many of us we have great ideas great businesses but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here please hear what i'm saying there are many of you your your academic qualification is bigger than where you are you have done your best when you have done all you need to do you need another man who is not you are you hearing what i'm saying certain men certain men It was the wine presser that told the king, he said, I know my wrongs this day. There is a man, oh, there is a man. Many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials. You have sharpened your leadership potentials. It's not pride. You know that it's time to break forth. But the distance between you and the next level is that certain man. Lift up your hands. Oh God, where is this certain man? Let him come into my life. Come on, pray one more time.
pray. It takes one man to change your business. One man to change your ministry. One man. One man. Hallelujah. Listen to me. There are many of you here with great business ideas. Hallelujah. All you need is capital. You have done everything you should do. You need somebody to believe in you enough. Hallelujah. Listen. Truly, the race is not to the swift. And the battle is not to the strong. One man can announce what God is doing in your life. And bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it. I shared that scripture. To none of the widows in Israel was the prophet sent. God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him. Many of you have been in a place. You have potentials for the throne. But something is tying you down. Because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life. Is God speaking to someone here? There are many of our parents with their qualifications. They should never have to beg. Even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day, they should not be begging. But they need one man to announce them. One man to recommend them. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Because this is somebody's prayer request. Oh Lord, if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just 100,000 there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us in ministry here. We are great people. This ministry you see today, we enjoy recommendations. Mysterious recommendations. While I was coming, somebody was trying to call me again and again from the UK. And he was saying, man of God, don't ask me how I got to find out about you and have your number. He said, when a man is in trouble, he will look for help anyhow. Are you getting my point? While you are sitting down to sleep, somebody is waking others to talk about you. But you must activate it. It doesn't happen by magic. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry. There are many of you who graduated with excellent results. You've even added masters. And the king sent for Joseph. Somebody must send for you to lead the level that you have. And I prophesy, whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names. Listen, listen. There is a man of God, a popular man of God. I will not mention names. The man had the gift of God like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what I'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered a taxi the Holy Spirit told him sow a seed of 30,000 naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed Ah, the driver looked at him. He said, what will I give you? He said, nothing. He said, sir, can I collect your number? And he collected his number. Please listen to me. This is a true story. When he collected his number, the guy dropped. He said, Tom, may God bless you. He was feeling bad. He did not know that that was his moment of victory. Listen, the very next person that will enter that car, listen, they were part of the regional organizers of Redeem, the convention in UK. Are you getting me? One of the regions. And then the man was talking and said, Kai, we are looking for a man of God to complete the ministers we are bringing. And we need men of integrity, you know. And the driver said, sir, there was a man that gave me his number. This guy is a true man of God. And that was it. I'm serious. They called him and they said, sorry, we are from this, this region of Redeem. I tell you, they brought that man after that ministration. There were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see. Are you getting my point? They all called him and said, we'd like you to come and, and minister. 
Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted. Gifted, but there was nothing working in his life. And Mike Mudok looked at him and came. And he said, God told me to bless you. He wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said, this is an anointed man. Please open doors for him. And the guy got 17 invitations. Everybody. It does not take time to change your story. What looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you tired of praying? Are you tired of praying? Because we must call them for. I don't want to waste your time. Let me just share it. I don't know if you shared his testimony. Did you share your testimony, Erima? I'm not sure he shared his testimony. Maybe at an appointed time, but let me say a bit of it. What ambassador? Eh? Unilever. This come. He just came back today. We met together at the airport in Abuja and then we came back together. By the grace of God, are you getting my point? And by the ministry of just one great man, Prof. Hallelujah. He has been selected as the ambassador of Unilever Nigeria. Are you, listen, listen, listen. The race is not to the swift. They just came back from their training in Lagos. And we even bombed. I was waiting for my luggage and I just saw him. And they had told me, he called me in Lagos and he said he was around. We never met. How God can change a man's story. My father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering. There was no man to lift him. His genius were rising and they, they, they just trampled this man. And it so happened that one man who used to be his junior, he, when, when we went for crusade in 2006, six years, he was the one who interpreted for me. And he was also the one who interpreted for Renard Bonke when he came to Joss. He was that man. On account of the kindness, he went and said one or two things about my father. And when they went to my father's um, CV and all of that, they said, where has this man been? They said, immediately, he should leave Joss and report to Lagos. He has been there for three years now. Many of us are praying, Lord, take me to the next level. I'm telling you the secret. You need a man. Hear me. There are things you cannot do for yourself. You may be anointed, but your grace will remain there until a man can announce. You may have a great business, a multi-million and billion dollar business, but it takes one man to believe in you and announce you. Are you getting my point? I know one of my friends. He was my classmate. Very intelligent and brilliant guy. This guy finished, furthered his education. There was nobody to speak for him. And this guy kept struggling for years. Nobody to speak for him. And one day I, I prayed. I said, oh Lord, but help this guy. This guy has paid the price. Look, when I say, I, I think I will classify him as a genius. And I'm not telling a lie. But I know other people, before they even finish service, the road has been made plain. You need someone in your life. Please pray and say, oh God, send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life. Please pray. Send a man to change my music ministry, oh God. Send a man. Send a man into my family. Koinonia, pray, we are rounding up. Sopotopata. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man into my life. Pray for your business. Pray for your job. One recommendation is all you need. One man who can believe in you. Struggling continues until there is a voice that can speak for you. Struggling continues until there is a man that can believe in you. The man that can believe in you. The man that can believe in you.